Oh, I literally just recorded this whole video and my camera stopped. All right, this is great. Hey ladies, I'm Courtney Labrie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, girl, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button. I have not said that in so long. I miss you guys. I took a much needed mental break, but I could not end the year without posting a video. Let's get right into what I thought this holiday season and kind of what I got for Christmas. So the first thing that I grabbed is from this coach outlet. This has actually been, I've been eyeing this for a while. Like I've been wanting this piece for actually a long time. It was first introduced to me by Mono's Beauty. If you guys, she has a YouTube channel. She does a whole bunch of handbag reviews. I absolutely love her tote collection, but she really inspired me to get this bag. So let me show you guys. This is the Coach City tote, and I got it in the leopard print. Um, I actually really like this a lot. Like, I don't know why I'm in a leopard phase, um, but as soon as I seen this bag, I was like, oh my gosh, I think I need that in my collection. One thing that I love is that this tote does not have any um, divider. It doesn't have any fabric lining. I find myself kind of drifting away from bags that do have fabric lining. I don't know, it's just kind of like a, mm, okay, not for me um, type of deal, but I really do love the stitching on the handle, I must admit. I thought that I would be more in love with it in person, but it really had to grow on me. So I took a chance. I was like, let me just take it home, see how I like it, and I absolutely love it, and I'm so happy that I got it. On the inside, it does have a zipper pocket, snap closure, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward, and it does have the, um, uh, coach's logo throughout the inside of the bag which that had to grow on me as well but now I, I really don't mind it so I love this piece I won't be taking it back moving on to the next piece that I got now this this is going back so I had the complete opposite reaction with this I absolutely love this in store and then when I brought it home I was like mm. I don't really think I like it anymore. Um, so this is a headband and scarf from Coach. You can see it has the CC logo throughout. You guys already know I'm a pink girl. So as soon as I seen the pink, I was like, yes, I need this. And then I brought it home and I'm like, wait, I do not like the logos all over it. Like it's just, it's not really for me. I think I would be better off just finding a pink headband um, and scarf as opposed to the logos all over it. So this might go back, but it is really, really pretty. <sighs> I'm so mad. I literally recorded this whole video and it's gone. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this has been on my wish list. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. It is from Good Old Chanel. And because I already recorded it, I basically already did like the unboxing. Just my camera decided to cut off. So I'll go ahead and pull out the first one. I don't even have the theatrics of pulling it out of box. Card holder. So this is Chanel's classic card holder. I got it in the color, it's called gold, but it kind of looks like a tan kind of color. Um, gold CC emblem on the front. It has three slots. You could consider this to be a slot, which would really make it four, but I personally wouldn't stuff it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. When I seen it, like as soon as the essay pulled it out, I was like, yep, that's the one. I knew I wanted like a tan color one, um, but the girls really rave about the Chanel card holders. Now, like I said, when the essay first pulled this out, I was like, yep, that's the one. I just knew instantly and she kind of hit me with the, hold on, I got something else. So I grabbed another thing from Chanel. Another card holder in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rose gold. I, my mouth kind of dropped and I was like, okay, I need them both. And of course she was like, yes, you need them both. But same thing, classic card holder in this beautiful rose gold. I believe, I'm not good with Chanel's collections, but I believe this is the 23K. She said an, it was something else, I'm missing a word. I, I wanna say she said cruise, but I don't feel like she said cruise. You guys, if you know where this card holder, which collection is from, please leave it down in the comments. Um, Cause I really wanna know and keep track of the collections that I have. Absolutely love the rose gold color. Really love the gold uh, Chanel um, emblem. And really when you see these two side by side, like they're just beautiful. Like when she pulled them out, I was like, okay, 
I really like them both. I did my research on card holders like I looked at Dior, I looked at YSL, I looked at Bottega, and I came down to Chanel. I actually looked at Louis Vuitton as well, but they just were not hidden for me for the card holders. The girls really rave about Chanel card holders, so I'm hoping that you know it hits the same for me. I'm really curious to see how these um, do as far as wear and tear. I was so I was this close to really pull in the trigger on a Dior card holder, but at the last minute, I really changed my mind. It just didn't, it didn't do it for me. And then also the girls really wave about the YSL card holders. That was another one that I was really, really close to pulling the trigger on. And I ended up not because I just didn't like the, the card holders that I did like, I really didn't like the big YSL logo on the front. The reason why I had card holders on my list was because I planned on doing like a, list of luxury items that I would not buy, a card holder being one of them. And I'm like, before I tell people not to buy it, let me actually try it. Don't knock it till you try it um, and see how the wear and tear is. So this is my test to see if I should or shouldn't include it to that list. While I was searching for the card holder, I really was trying to figure out like, okay, like what era am I in? I feel like I went through a phase where I was really into Louis Vuitton. I'm very much into Louis Vuitton's travel pieces. Um, and then I went more down the contemporary brands and the luxe leaning brands um, like Coach. Now I'm kind of, I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, am I in my Chanel era? Is this Dior? I have had a few bags um, on my wish list, but I never pulled the trigger and got one. And partially it's because like, I really don't feel like spending like $4,000, $5,000, $6,000 on a handbag, especially when I'm trying to finish my house. It just priorities, you know, trying to be responsible. But um, I do feel like, okay, um, my taste in handbags is starting to change and I'm interested in different pieces. And when I say different, I'm leaning more towards the vintage pieces. Like, I never thought I would say this because I'm really not a thrift kind of girl or like a vintage piece kind of girl. But recently I've been really venturing out going to the thrift stores and looking at vintage pieces. And I actually bought my husband a vintage camera um, for Christmas. And that really like just sparked my interest in, I guess looking for like more vintage collectors type pieces. I don't know, it just brings me a little bit more joy than what's currently out um, on the market today. And I feel like everybody has the same handbags. Granted, there's a lot of girls that do shop vintage and have very, very, very nice uh, collective handbag, but I like to shop for things that really bring me joy and that has been putting a smile on my face. Um, I went to a thrift store and I seen this girl. She was well put together and her bag caught my eye instantly. She had this Chanel flap with a big, big CC uh, logo clasp and instantly I knew it was a vintage handbag and it was in such pristine condition. It looked so beautiful and yeah, from there I was just like, okay, I'm gonna start keeping my eye out for some vintage pieces. So that's just a little spiel of where I am as far as my handbag collection and what I've been thinking about um, more buying. But okay, rent over, let's wrap up my list. Last but not least, while I've been gone, I've really been focused on getting the house finished and decor. Um, so a couple of pieces that I grabbed over the holiday season, one being my sconces that I have in my entryway. These are very beautiful, modern sconces. I love the fact that the lighting, you can change the lighting to different colors. Um, you could dim it. Um, and we painted our walls as well. So with the paint color that we picked, depending on the lighting, the color will look a little bit different. So that's one thing I really, really do love about these sconces. It does give our entryway a very sleek, modern look, which that is the feel that we're going for in our house. I've learned throughout this decorating process, I've learned that I'm much more traditional. Um, and my husband is much more modern. So I'm really trying to combine the two design styles so that we both can be happy and pleased with our home. The next piece that I grabbed was this entryway console, very straightforward, um, black glass, 
very beautiful i loved it i've been eyeing it for a while i actually found it on another website but i found it cheaper on amazon you guys always look on amazon because amazon usually carries the same stuff as these other you know stores they usually sell through amazon and i actually got the sconces through amazon as well instead of buying them from the original store because i'm like just in case i need to take them back i know amazon won't give me any hassle um so i found both these pieces on amazon and overall i feel like they really give our place a nice sleek feel um but still make it feel like home so I am looking forward to, you know, showing you guys a little bit of the house once we really get it all wrapped up. But I'm working hard on it. I'm working hard on it. So that is it for my wish list. I, oh, my wish list. What? Y'all see where my head is. I'm talking about wish list. Oh my God. So that is it for what I got during this holiday season. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, oh my God. My camera. I cannot catch a break from my little camera, y'all. It's giving me kind of a nightmare. It's like, uh, girl, you did not cut me on for a minute. Anyways, let me do my outro really quick before my camera cuts off. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any of these pieces in your collection. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.